In this video, you will learn how to install a meter with the current Transformer and DTU Pro to complete a three-phase export management system. The updated export management system has improved its accuracy while streamlining the installation steps for user-friendly operation. Please refer to the technical note for more information. Before we start, please make sure that the power distribution box is shut off, and remember that only properly trained technicians are allowed to undertake the installation and wiring. During the installation process, you will be using connecting terminals, the Hoymiles DTU Pro, the Chint DTSU666 three-phase meter, crimping pliers, wire stripper, fill-up screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, RS485 cables, voltage sampling line, tubular pre-insulated end, and technical note of export management of Hoymiles microinverter system. What's more, for the sake of easier selection, Hoymiles has updated meters, and now, we only provide three types of meters all equipped with current transformers. There are clear signs on them for subsequent connection and wiring. Before we start installing the meter, we need to confirm the meter installation location. Since the monitoring platform needs grid-side data to allow the DTU to control the output power of the microinverter, this video will show the meter installation on the grid side. Now, we are ready to go. First, install the meter on the track. In this step, the fixed snap fit clamp needs to be unscrewed with the screwdriver and moved to the far left to make room for the meter. Tighten the clamp after mounting the meter. Now, we need to determine the connection between the meter and the distribution box, that is, the voltage sampling line. From the picture, we know that 3, 6, 9, 10 on the meter are voltage sampling ports, which are respectively connected to phase A, phase B, and phase C. Port 10 connects to the end line. Please do not mix up those wires during installation. Then, measure and cut out the appropriate wire length following this path, and strip and process the connecting wire according to the electrical standards. Once the process is complete, connect the meter to the main AC breaker with these wires in sequence. Please ensure safety throughout the connection. Now, we have finished the meter installation. The second step is to install the current transformer. Before installation, we need to determine the location for current sampling. It can be seen from the signs that port numbers with asterisks are the white wires of current transformer, and port numbers without asterisks are the blue wires of the current transformer. Therefore, port 13 should be connected to phase A's white wire, and port 14 should be connected to phase A's blue wire. The rest wires are connected in the same way. Follow this path to complete the connection of the secondary winding of the current transformer to the meter. Next, attach the current transformer to the corresponding wire to complete the current sampling. First, we need to match the phase of the secondary winding with that of the distribution box, and then, check whether the arrow direction is the same as the current flow direction. Please check the current transformer mounting position to ensure that the connection is correct. Now, the meter and current transformer have been connected to the distribution box. Finally, we need to connect the DTU to the meter. Here, we will use the communication cable. The blue wire is connected to terminal B and port 25, and the red wire is connected to terminal A and port 24. The connection of the cable to the meter can be done directly, while the connection of the cable to the DTU Pro should be done with the connecting terminal. Now, all the installation is completed. Before we set up DTU Pro, please make sure that DTU Pro is connected to the internet. Now, let's set up the DTU Pro. Log into your account on SMILES Cloud Monitoring Platform. First, you should create your own plant and fill in the basic information. Tap Next and click Create Owner. Fill in the owner information and click Confirm. Second, add your device. You should fill in the serial number of DTU Pro and the microinverter which can be found on the enclosure. Don't forget to save your information. Then click Next and choose a layout as you will. 
Then fill in the PV array information and click Confirm. Upload the installation map and click Next. Now, we come to the Export Management settings. Switch on the slider button of Enable Export Management and you can select your grid type. In our case, this is a 3-phase 23400 system and please select your own grid type. Then choose the installation location of the meter and type in the meter SN. The rated current of CT can be automatically recognized based on the meter sent. Next, tick on the export power limit function to enable the export control, and then input the limit value. Please note that here we don't need to set the limit value of each phase, because the power limit mode we previously selected is total. So click next, and you will come to the setting of plant regulation. Finally, click complete and activate the plant, and now all the work is done. When your PV system starts to operate, you can see the overall data from the dashboard of the plant. You can also generate reports to further analyze the data and adjust your settings. That's all for today's program. Thanks for joining us.